Hey guys, this is Jamal Wilcox, and this is a quick review for the Anna Bowery bag. This is a small camera bag made by Anna, and um, personally, one of my favorite camera bags. It's super portable, and um, this is something you can take with you everywhere. Either you're going to work, you're going on a quick trip. If you're in a car with not enough room, you can kind of like just tuck it up under your leg. And um, it was really helped me to kind of like always have my camera on me so um but i'm gonna show you guys how you can fill this bag so let's go ahead and like have a look on the inside so this bag is super super cool super sturdy durable this is real leather and uh these clamps are probably some of the best clamps i've had i've been looking at different clamps um and bags on amazon and most of the time like you see like people's reviews where the clamps are broken or you know these things right here just pop off and your camera drops and you're kind of like out of luck so luckily enough with this one you don't have to really worry about that so you have a little pocket right here and i'm gonna actually grab my measuring tape and um we're gonna see how big these things actually are so this guy right here on the side of the bag is about four inches wide if you can see that so it's about four inches wide cool all right and that's on both sides so you got two of those actually uh -oh, almost dropped it so you got two of those actually so you got one on this side and one on that side on the back side you also have one and this one right here is about roughly 10 inches if you can see that and you can see here and it's also going to be about four and a half inches deep well no 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 it's going to be it's going to be about four inches deep so you see that? And I wanna say it's the same thing for this guy right here. It's also gonna be about four inches deep. So now we're gonna have a look inside of the bag. And as you can see right now, it's empty. I wanna say when I got this bag, I actually had um, more of these, but I'm not sure. I kind of just, I've collected a lot of these little dividers over the time but um so as you can see here this is completely empty so we're gonna fill it so the first thing i'm gonna grab is a fujifilm camera the x100f so this has some um different accessories on it so it is a little beefier than usual so if this will fit for this you know that you know the one without all the accessories is gonna fit so let's go ahead and grab put that in there So that's item number one, and we still have room here. I'm gonna take this out, and we're gonna see how much stuff we can get in here. I also have a Fujifilm X-T20, and this is a Rockanone, I don't know if I said that right, um, 18 millimeter lens that I have on here. And we're gonna see if, well I know it fits, but you can kinda like see how much stuff you can cram into this, this bag here. And I wanna say we can get at least one more item in here. And that's with the hood on this one still. So, this is a anchor brick. And this is precisely, let's see how, long, how big this guy is. So this is gonna be six and a half inches. So this is six and a half inches. And you can actually put it in standing directly, standing up, and the back still is gonna close. And another thing I didn't say before is this clamp mechanism on here is really cool. I know they have this on other bags, but it seems pretty, you know, I guess cliche. But um, when you're trying to get into this bag really quick, it's just one button and it is a lifesaver. So you just like lift up that flap and you get used to it eventually. And oh yeah, um, I forgot there are pockets on the front as well. So these pockets on the front, you have two. They're both about five inches wide, and just like the back side is gonna be four inches deep. So that's really good to know. Um, you can put things like money, business cards, protractor. Okay, probably not in the front. But there's a backside for your random protractor if you're anything like me and you need a protractor. You never know when you need them. You know? 
So this is a Nikon D5600 with a 40 millimeter lens attached to it. We're gonna take, just like last time, we're gonna take these out. I'm gonna put that in, leave that out for a second. So that's that. And this lens is a little long, even though it's uh, 40 millimeters. Um, it's kinda, kinda long. Um, and this is a Nikon D7100. Um, they they had a they have a new one, uh, 7200. I believe like it's even a newer one than that at the making of this video. Um, but this is a 28 millimeter lens. I have some weird lenses, I promise you. But um, let's go ahead and put that in there. And that's a tight squeeze, but you're able to get two cameras in there depending on the lens. And so this is another way to attack that problem. So if you just have like one camera and you have like multiple lenses, um, you can, you can fit another lens in there. This lens is a 35 millimeter. So just to give you like some type of reference for size. And we're gonna put another fat in there. And this is a iPhone um, 6 Plus SE. And that fits in there, you know, random wallet. And there's still a little bit more space but as you can see, um, this is a super versatile bag. Um, you can move stuff around and it's very, very low profile. It's not heavy at all. Um, and you pretty much put your weight on yourself depending on like uh, how much stuff you're gonna carry with you. So if anything, it helps you to not carry what you don't need. So that's all I got for right now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know if this helped you out. I know I've been looking for a bag that, you know, I could take with me pretty much anywhere and it not take up a lot of room or be super, super bulky, but um, it stood the test of time with me. It's not broke yet. So let me know what you think. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.